Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cover songs by a rock or metal band. For this list, we're ranking the most successful or unique cover songs performed by artists from the rock or heavy metal genres. It doesn't matter if the song covered happens to be from either genre, as long as those responsible for the cover knew how to rock out. What's your favorite rock or metal cover? Let us know in the comments! Number 10. Bad Company by Five Finger Death Punch, original by Bad Company. Company Always on the run. This heavy metal band from Las Vegas started out playing Bad Company to fill in time during some of their early live shows. Fans loved it so much that the track was eventually incorporated into their 2009 album, War is the Answer. And that's why they call me Bad Company. I can't deny. Since then, it's become one of the band's biggest songs, receiving over 130 million plays on YouTube. While the original is already a beloved rock song, this cover transforms Bad Company from an easygoing jam into an anthemic banger. Now these towns, well, they all know our name. When the heavy guitar riffs come in, you can't help but sing along with the familiar chorus. What's more, the band used this cover as an opportunity to thank American troops serving in Iraq. Number 9. Turn the Page by Metallica, original by Bob Seger. But your thoughts will soon be wandering the way they always do. Heavy metal legends Metallica have always made it a point to expose audiences to their musical influences, even going so far as to release a double disc covers collection back in 1998 titled Garage Inc. It was the band's cover of Bob Seger's Turn the Page that served as the album's first single and video, a dark and disturbing clip starring adult film star Ginger Lynn as a single mother forced to make some difficult and desperate decisions in order to provide for her daughter. Meanwhile, Metallica approaches Turn the Page with a sense of reverence for Seger's original, while at the same time lending their own musical muscle and grit to the proceedings. Number 8. Painkiller by Death, original by Judas Priest. The Sound of Perseverance would be the final album from extreme metal forefathers Death before their founder Chuck Schuldiner would succumb to brain cancer. The band went out on a high note with the album's closing track, however, a ripping cover of Painkiller from metal gods Judas Priest. Joel Diener and company amplify the aggression tenfold on their version right from the get-go, thanks to Richard Christie's octopus-like drumming and Joel Diener's paint-peeling vocals. There's plenty of tribute here to Priest's fiery original, but make no mistake, Death made this metal classic their own in a big way. Number 7. No Ordinary Love by Deftones, original by Sade. The Deftones are well known for their ability to tap into some serious sensuality with their atmospheric rock music, so it sort of makes sense that they would cover this classic slow jam by Nigerian singer-songwriter Sade. Band's take on No Ordinary Love keeps the mid-paced arrangement of the track relatively intact, using punchier drums and vocal effects over singer Chino Moreno's voice to retain the song's seductive sound. There's something to be said about being faithful to a classic song's heart and soul, and the Deftones manage this while at the same time leaving their own mark on this enduring hit. Number 6. Live and Let Die by Guns N' Roses, original by Paul McCartney and Wings. The 
chances are probably pretty good that you've heard this cover plenty of times while driving in your car, as this Guns N' Roses take on a classic James Bond theme has been a rock radio staple for years. It's never exactly been commonplace for rock bands to cover songs from motion picture soundtracks, but Axl Rose and company did a great job at replicating Live and Let Die on their 1991 album Use Your Illusion 2. keep the grandiose string section and funky rock backbeat intact on their version, creating a cover which may not offer many surprises, yet it does deliver the goods when it comes to respecting a true classic. Number 5. Imagine by A Perfect Circle Original by John Lennon Imagine there's no heaven the next track on our list has been covered by numerous artists over the years, yet very few of them have done so with quite the same stylized darkness as a perfect circle. Nothing to kill or die for. The all-star rock group featuring Tool's Maynard James Keenan released their cover of John Lennon's Imagine on their third album, Emotive. a collection of politically charged cover songs designed as commentary on the 2004 U.S. presidential election. Lennon's moods of optimism, realism, and hope are presented here by A Perfect Circle in a more provocative style. The classic piano chords are still there, only twisted and performed with a much darker and more sinister intent. Number 4. I Fought the Law by The Clash, popularized by The Bobby Fuller Four. This song may have originally been written by Texas-based songwriter Sonny Curtis of Buddy Holly's group The Crickets, but I Fought the Law was initially made popular by, well, a cover. The Bobby Fuller Four performed the first version of I Fought the Law, with which most people are familiar. However, it was a 1979 cover by the formative English punk band The Clash that brought I Fought the Law to an even younger audience, thanks to the group's musical urgency and infectious charisma. The rebellious lyrical spirit of I Fought the Law fits in perfectly with The Clash's own political fire, making this a musical match made in heaven. Number 3. The Sound of Silence by Disturbed, original by Simon and Garfunkel. Chicago's Disturbed have made their metallic mark on a number of successful cover songs over the years, including their expert take on the 80s Genesis hit, Land of Confusion. Tell me why this is a land of confusion. But Genesis aside, it's this fan-favorite cover that takes the number three spot on our list, thanks largely to Disturbed's talented frontman, David Draymond. And in the naked light I saw. The singer delivers a tour de force on Simon and Garfunkel's The Sound of Silence, Within the sound of silence. turning what was a delicate folk ballad into an epic orchestral journey of cinematic proportions. String sections and booming percussion amplify guitarist Dan Donegan's tasteful guitar work, while Draymond lays down what may be the vocal performance of his career. Number 2. Holy Diver by Killswitch Engage, original by Dio. New England metalcore titans Killswitch Engage have always been known for possessing an irreverent sense of humor to go along with their memorable riffs and passionate vocals. The band truly outdid themselves, however, when it came to their cover of this 80s metal classic from Dio. Holy Diver, you're the star of the masquerade. Killswitch's version of Holy Diver turns on maximum crunch in the guitar department, while former frontman Howard Jones switches effortlessly between screams, clean singing, and a most righteous falsetto. Like 
Meanwhile, drummer Justin Foley alternates his tempo between the song's original mid-pace and a quicker pickup section, adding to the cover's musical dynamic. The band also shot a humorous video clip for the track, a goofy but loving tribute to Holy Diver's mighty medieval past. Before we announce our top cover track, here are some honorable mentions. No Easy Way Out by Bullet For My Valentine, original by Robert Tepper. Another Brick in the Wall by Korn, original by Pink Floyd. Careless Whisper by Seether, original by George Michael. Anarchy in the UK by Megadeth, original by Sex Pistols. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Smooth Criminal by Alien Ant Farm, original by Michael Jackson. Was there ever any doubt? Sure, Alien Ant Farm's cover of Smooth Criminal may be the California band's one major chart-topping hit, but what a hit it was. The band strikes a perfect balance between treating the original with respect while placing their own particular stamp upon the king of pop. Lead singer Dryden Mitchell and bassist Ty Zamora trade off on Michael Jackson's trademark vocal style, while guitarist Terry Corso and drummer Mike Cosgrove offer a more aggressive take on the musical arrangements. Add to the mix a funny and funky video, and you have a recipe for cover song success. with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.